genetic diseases affect millions of people worldwide. Now some of those genetic diseases result in no protein being produced. Now this can have very little effect on a person or it can be absolutely devastating. At Royal Holloway we are developing a strategy to try and develop a therapy for one of those diseases where the lack of a protein is absolutely devastating. And this is a disease called Duchenne muscular dystrophy. Now this is caused by mutations in a gene called dystrophin um, and this is located on the X chromosome. So Duchenne muscular dystrophy is a very severe progressive disease. It appears to start from the feet and work upwards. Parents will notice that their sons around the age of two have trouble climbing the stairs because of weakness in their lower legs and also getting up the floor. They will eventually become wheelchair bound around the ages of 10 to 12 and then require respiratory intervention in their early 20s, particularly at night, and then they will die in their early 30s from respiratory and cardiac failure. It's recessive in nature, so it's only seen in boys, but the mother has the potential if they're a carrier to pass on the disease to their child. And mutations can also arise spontaneously. Dystrophin gene encodes a protein that is present in skeletal and cardiac muscle, and it performs a really important structural role, um, acting as a shock absorber during muscle contraction. When it isn't there, the muscle um, fibre will get damaged and will eventually die and be replaced by fibrosis, so scarring, and also inflammatory tissue. We have developed, with others, a strategy to try and convert Duchenne muscular dystrophy into Becker muscular dystrophy. And this is much less severe than Duchenne, and patients often have no symptoms at all. And we do this using what's called exon skipping. And this is achieved using antisense oligonucleotides. So these are small pieces of DNA which we make to be complementary to pieces on the RNA. It will be skipped over by the spliceosome and skipped out with the neighbouring introns. So restoring the reading frame so that the transcript, the RNA, can be read into a shorter but functional protein. So these antisense oligonucleotides, we've developed a number of them at Royal Holloway and we do this by growing patient muscle cells in um, dishes and we can introduce these antisense oligonucleotides into the cell and then we make coding DNA from this RNA using reverse transcription and then we use this to perform polymerase chain reaction. By doing this we can amplify a small stretch of the DNA that will contain the exon that we're trying to skip. And then by running these products on a gel with electrophoresis, we can separate the products according to their size. So we'll be able to see products that have no exon skipping and products which will be smaller that have the exon skip. And then we can quantify which antisense oligonucleotide is working best. And then we can recommend this clinical trial. So one of these antisense oligonucleotides has been put through clinical trial. It's to skip exon 51 and this would have applicability to 15% of patients. Now, the thing to note is that mutations that cause Duchenne muscular dystrophy uh, can be present over the whole length of the dystrophin gene, which is the largest gene in the body. So it's not a case that one antisense oligonucleotide would treat all patients. So the one with highest applicability has been put through a clinical trial, and it can be seen to um, result in expression of dystrophin in muscle biopsies from patients and you get good dystrophin expression and this appears to be functional because it delays the progression of the disease. So antisense oligonucleotides hold a lot of hope for the treatment of Duchenne and also other diseases where the reading frame of the RNA is disrupted.